uh, be open to every meeting of city council with an case in the place of allegiance to our flag. Out of respect for diversity of opinion in our community, we believe that we will begin this evening's invocation with a moment of silence during which each of us will be free to pray, contemplate or not, contemplate or not, as each person wishes. After this moment of silence, I'll call on Councilman Davis to pray in accordance with his, in accordance with his faith. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, Lord. We thank you that the sun rose and it's uh, shining down on all of us, Lord. We thank you that, that you're on the throne. Uh, Lord, we thank you for this process that we're here to recognize today, this system of election and the, uh, the freedom that, that it guarantees us. Lord, we pray that as we go about our day and about our lives, we'll keep our eyes on you uh, and look to you for guidance in all that we do. These things we ask in Jesus' name. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are here today for one purpose, and that is to receive a report from the Sumter County Election Commission and consider approval of Resolution 810, which certifies the results of the November 3, 2020 City Council election. Uh, before I turn it over to Ms. Jefferson, um, Ms. Jefferson, I, I want you to know that uh, I have heard nothing but positive things about the way that the election was handled. I want you to know the city council and I appreciate that. Um, the uh, satellite locations were well used and well run from everything I've heard. And uh, we really thank you for you and your commission and uh, your staff for doing such a great job. And with that, if there's no objection, I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Jefferson. I'm going to you. Thank you, sir. I'm going to use the chairman of the board. Chairman, I'm going to you. So, yes, sir. Chairman. Mr. Goliath Brunson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of council, city manager, city managers and city staff, and the general public. Uh, we are here today, I'm here as chairman of the election commission along with uh, vice chairman, Commissioner Charles Moore, and of course, our illustrious director, Ms. Pat Jefferson, to present to you the award, the <laughs> present to you the results of the November 3rd election as certified by the Sumter County Voter Registration and Election Commission. Uh, there are 61, 61 precincts reporting. We had a total ballot. Ballots cast was 49,406 or 63.9%. And the findings are the following. The position of mayor for the city of Sumter, and I'll just read it to you here in order. And, uh, Sabrina Belcher, 463 votes. Debbie Bowen, 943 votes. Foxy Ray Campbell, 1,992 votes. Calvin K. Hastie Sr., 4,765 votes. David Merchant, 7,050 votes. Archie Parnell, 1,653 votes. A total of 65 write-ins. A total number of votes cast in the mayoral race was 16,931. Six over votes and 1,764 under votes. A position of Ward 2, Council, City Council Ward 2, following 
James B. Blassingame, 1,158 votes. Elaine Mandy Brunson, 255 votes. Samantha R. Harrison, 838 votes. Keith Ivey, 603 votes. Writing in totals were seven. The total votes cast in Ward 2 was 2,861. Two over votes, 539 under votes. City Council Ward 4. Stephen H. Corley, 1,381 votes. Mark Daniel, 754 votes. Writing in totals were 12. Total votes cast in City Council Ward 4, 2,147. Zero under over votes and 625 under votes. City Council Ward 6. Eddie Drayton, 847 votes. Gifford Shaw, 1,855 votes. Writing in totals 22. Total votes cast in City Council Ward 6, 2,724. Zero over votes, 698 under votes. That concludes our report of City Council elections held on November 3rd certified by the South Carolina Voter Registration Election Commission. What did you say the percentage of our current turnout was for the city? Turnout, <coughs> turnout total was 6.3.9 percent, but um, what the breakdown for the city is up in terms of the community. Uh, we don't have a breakdown for the overall um, county wide total. Did you go back to you today? I'm sorry. We can email you that back today. I'd like to know. Okay. Any questions? Or? Yes, sir. Mr. Brunson. Yes, sir. I saw you said there were a large number. I don't remember the exact number. Seventeen to eighteen hundred under votes. What's that? Those are people that were eligible to vote in a particular race, but did not cast a ballot in that race. Mm. Okay. Are you saying they they came to the poll and voted, but didn't voted. cast a they voted but didn't cast a ballot? Absolutely, yes, sir. Like if they voted straight party, yeah, and then chose not to go down the ballot. Generally speaking, that's what happened. What happened to but you know. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, question: Absentee. Will we have absentee voting for this runoff period? Yes, there will be absentee voting at the courthouse only, mm -hmm. and hopefully. It'll be in place, everything should be in place by tomorrow at noon. Um, you know, yeah. the state has to certify the entire election before they can clean or uh, redo our um, machines and all of that, but they should have all that in place and we should be up and running by noon tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much. Any other questions of Mr. Brownson? Any of Ms. Jefferson? I would just like to say, um, this is 24 years that I've been serving this city government, school board, and now for the city government. And Ms. Jefferson, you have done an outstanding job. You've always been very efficient. And um, we all appreciate that. And when you leave in the uh, board, I want to let you know that I appreciate you through the years and the many elections that I've been through. So thank you. You and your staff. You must have been real young when you started out. You don't seem to age, do you? <laughs> you've, been, you've been around this a long time. I, I have too. Bubba's a little longer. But. Okay, we have a motion that we approve resolution 810, which declares the results of the recent general election. So moved. Second. Motion moves and the loud seconds. In discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. And resolution 810 is approved. Having completed our business, there is is there a motion to adjourn? Second. Well, I lose and Mr. Larry seconds that we adjourn. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed no. 
And we ought to turn and please don't leave without signing this. Uh,